All right, let's do some news. Today, on the news with me, we got a bunch of things to talk about. And we're gonna try to get through them as quickly as possible because lax has gotta go to lunch. And uh, and we wanna, you know, I don't know if it's gonna, it's gonna happen in 20 minutes, but we're gonna do our best. We'll do our best. So, let's hop right into the biggest news of the week. The biggest, this is the biggest news of the week. It's huge. It's not, it's, it's just, it's just, all it is is the, uh, uh, do you guys follow hockey at all? Because the Canucks have decided to ban Fortnite, uh, from being played during the season. Because apparently the Canucks season sucked because they're all fucking playing Fortnite and they can't get their shit together and just go train like they're supposed to. It actually does say that in here. <laughs> it does say that in here. <laughs> Where it's just like... It's just like we want to be focused all the time. We come to the rink, we have fun at the same time, but it's all business here. It's like, uh, let's see. Um, I think you can get addicted to anything. If you're sitting there playing Fortnite for 12 hours a day, it's probably not the best thing for you. But if you play it like a normal person one or two hours a day, like that happens, uh, you, then you're fine. If you're going out all night partying, you're addicted to going out. That's not good either. So this is, this is at least someone's got a little bit of sense there, right? This one says, video games get out of control, you're on the road, spend time with your teammates. I imagine when these guys travel, they're probably sitting in the back playing Fortnite all night. Uh, and yeah, it's just... Uh, <laughs> I can't even explain how addicting it's become. It's just grown worldwide and half our teams play now, so it's a good topic in the morning, see? So it really... Again, this is a, this is add this to the list of... Uh, of <laughs> how big is Fortnite? It's big enough to ruin... To, to snatch the Stanley Cup from teams that deserve it. And that's, that's how big it is. That, the Knicks will start seeping into other sports and pretty soon there'll be a, uh, there'll be a sports-wide ban on, uh, on Fortnite because people are, are, are playing it. Or there'll be, we're gonna get like Michael Jordans where they're, like, they're gonna be like, or, or, uh, or, uh, Bo, uh, Bo Jackson's. We're like, oh yeah, this guy, oh yeah, this guy is a professional NBA player and he's also a professional, uh, Fortnite player or something. Like, we'll have, we'll have these crossovers and all that. Um... <laughs> As over Vancouver, we have we have we haven't exactly been winning before Fortnite. Yeah, well, this is clearly the reason why. Uh now. It's retroactive. This this is a retroactive thing. Yeah. Bo knows Fortnite, God we wish. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's um it is uh it is a thing. It's a it's a real thing that uh that they're actually doing. Which I think is oh I don't know how they're gonna enforce it. I guess I guess maybe they'll walk around the bus while they're traveling and just be like, hey, 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 put that down. Go talk, go play with your friends outside. <laughs> go, go play with your friends at the front of the bus. Like this series, I got to like hurt these guys like kids. So yeah, that was uh that was the biggest news of the week. I just thought that was hilarious. I want to open up with that because that is just like just just add it to the list again. Fortnite. How big is Fortnite? Well, it's big enough to uh to uh to cross the desk of of uh, NHL uh. uh coaches everywhere they're gonna start making decisions pretty soon more of them are gonna get together they'll be like hey we should just ban this thing just just uh nhl wide i mean as if the nhl needed any any other kind of drama associated with just you know just the sport in general it's such a such a bizarre sport nhl is like the eve of of sports it really is like just like i don't want to watch i don't want to watch hockey but i would love reading about all the drama that goes on behind the scenes with hockey because i feel like that's where the action is at so yeah that's it so fortnite banned from uh from being played <laughs> by uh the uh by the Canucks players so rip those guys career uh as a professional um uh, uh, as a professional ninja we'll call them uh but in other in other real big news actual actual news that is that that is uh, uh big um Mike Morheim is stepped down from uh being president of uh of Blizzard he is no longer the president but he is going to remain as a, uh, on as a strategic advisor to the uh, uh to the company so he's still gonna be there uh i know what this is there's this he he, he just wants to tour with uh <laughs> with uh uh with his band that's all he's that's it he's gonna tour the, he's gonna perform at blizzcon everyone's gonna be pumped and uh and then he's gonna and then he, they're gonna go on tour that's it that's all it is and then when he comes back he's gonna play classic he's a fucking nerd just like everybody else he's gonna just that's all he's gonna do you say activision's gonna take over i don't necessarily think that's the case um but it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. You know, we don't, we don't really know unless we're there. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, JL and Brack, uh, for those of you guys who don't know exactly who he is, uh, this this might help. You think you do, but you don't. 
Yeah, that that's J. Allen Breck. Uh, this is the, this is the guy who said those words when asked the question, do you think it would be kind of a good idea to bring back some some uh, older versions of World of Warcraft as they were at the time? And he said no. He said no almost before the question was finished. I think he did. Hold on. Let's 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 review. Let's review this, shall we? Uh have you ever thought about adding servers for previous expansions as they were then? No. He didn't and, wait. and by the way, you don't want to, that, to do that either. You think you do, but you don't. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we gave him shit for this, right? We gave him shit for this. But uh, it is uh, it is something that I understand what he's saying. I think a lot of us understand what he's saying. At the time, there was a lot of people that were upset about the dismissive attitude that he had when he answered that question. But I think that uh, that it's uh, that he was right. He was fucking right. But they did. They are coming back with classic, and they are uh, gonna be doing. Uh, hold on a second. This this hold on a second. This is coming in. Oh, you're leaving. Yes. All right. Okay, well, you don't drive then. Don't drive. Okay, perfect. All right, love you. Have fun. Drink. I guess I'm gonna get some afternoon uh, drinks. So, uh, yeah, J. Allen Brack is now the uh, is gonna be the uh, president, along with a couple other uh, things that have uh, uh, kind of moved around there. We have a couple of new other people names I don't, I don't officially recognize really. Uh, Ray Gresco, I recognize the name. I don't, I don't know who he is. I can tell you what he looks like. Uh, uh, Alan Adam. Uh, so they're they're all basically it's like a little bit of a management kind of just people being moved up and around and all that good stuff. So honestly, I don't know if, if this is really going to have any kind of like long term effect. Uh, it is kind of funny, right? Wow, classic has been canceled now. <laughs> <laughs> just just because just because i i feel like jail Brett could could uh um i feel like he can he could he could he could host he could support the game uh, the games uh about as well as he did before um i can't imagine anybody else i mean who else who else would be like the person i mean mike morheim is just like he's been doing this forever since the beginning uh and he's probably looking at all the fun that medicine's having and he's like yo i want to get down with that <laughs> like i want to do that <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of Chilton. Yeah, there's not a lot of a lot of options um, for like who who could be the president and and you know like I don't know who would be the better of the uh, of the available candidates or who wants it. I mean, because it's also like people like who wants to like be president of Blizzard. Seriously, who wants that job? I wouldn't want that job. Fuck you. No, no way. I I can't imagine anybody is like yeah, I would love to be president of Blizzard. I mean, like unless I delete all my social. <laughs> like delete everything I have social just so that way nobody can reach me which would send a which which would send like a very poor I feel like that would send a very bad signal um to uh <laughs> to people it's like oh he's gonna take over oh and he's also gonna like oh yeah no more news oh geez can you imagine that yeah I wouldn't be able there's a lot of stuff I wouldn't be able to do yeah but no I wouldn't do that no way uh and I and none of no no you guys wouldn't Han you would not sign me up for that one please wait which one the nudes or the uh what oh, nudes fuck the uh <laughs> this is nudes on the mind all the time someone who has never been online yeah somebody who just doesn't exist we just need that's that's what needs to be a CEO of Blizzard somebody who just doesn't exist who just like comes out of nowhere and it's just like oh yeah well I guess yeah you could you could run things fine you know um take it private for you we've secured funding for twenty a share yes. You guys caught the end of that, right? He 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 he's uh, stepping down for like I think two years, but he's still gonna be on the board. Uh, this is about Musk, by the way. He's still gonna be on the board. He's getting fined like some some a number that doesn't mean anything. Uh, and then he gets to come back in like three years or something like that. Uh, meanwhile, the the morning it was announced or the afternoon it was announced, it basically the the stock like tanked and then skyrocketed or something. It's just ridiculous, just ridiculous. Uh, but staying on a CEO, there you go. But uh, but back back to Mike Morheim. Uh, I'm curious what he's gonna do now. Is he just is he just done? Is he just done with games? I mean, I don't know how active he's been in the, in the actual game creation space. Um, you know, in the beginning, obviously, obviously they they all wore a lot of hats. So they did a lot of work. Uh, but I don't know like nowadays what they're um, like what he's doing on the on the things that we see. Obviously, there's all the like the biz dev stuff and all the all the big decisions and all that shit that he's making. But from like from a from a point where like. Um, 
things that we would see uh impacted like you know like small details of games gaming details and all that stuff and, and uh technology and features and all that shit i don't think he was really doing anything in that field for for a while so that could be wrong could be wrong he could be down there on the front lines just doing his thing um cool pool brevik could go make his own game well he's still on the board so so we'll see but this is definitely gonna peak this is definitely gonna like perk people's ears up uh to anything blizzard activision related because a lot of people are saying oh this means activision is taking over and you know yeah i would believe that if they brought somebody from activision to take over the company but as of right now it's like well i just feel like basically mike moram just found felt like he was kind of done so we'll see my blizzcon and um i'm sure we'll see what you know what he's up to probably wearing his, his uh whatever the next you know announcement bowling shirt i'll have that uh, what's Chris doing? Driving around his new Porsche and doing coke off hookers? That is probably, hey, that sounds like, I mean, it sounds like he's a, that's a good time, man. Jeez, <laughs> uh, you don't know, man, maybe. Yeah, Metzen. Um, so yeah, so that was, that was pretty much, I think probably like the big, one of the bigger, bigger chunks of news, uh, in terms of like, you know, holy shit, that actually happened? Yeah, Mike, Mike, uh, uh Mike Morheim, Mike Metzen, let's put them together. Mike Morheim is, uh, stepping down. Man, uh, in other news, some of you guys probably heard of this. Some of you guys probably did not. You guys know Andrzej Andrzej Subkowski Subkowski is. I did not slaughter that name at all. He's the uh, the creator of The Witcher. Yeah, The Witcher book dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he is the Witcher book dude. Uh, he <laughs> so. When you're when you're like creating something like an app or a piece of technology or something and you're like somebody comes around they're like hey we want to buy this from you but we could buy it from you or we could give you uh we could give you like a percentage of of the profits over the next you know whatever um that's a tough that's a decision that I've had to present to people as somebody who represented Zam it's like yo hey we like your site we would like to either buy it or we could give you um, you know, royalties or, 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 uh, or a cut of the profit or whatever. Right. So like, I mean, I've been there. I've been the one presenting that to somebody who owned a piece of technology that we wanted to acquire. Uh, and so this is the position that, uh, that he was in where uh, CD project red basically said, Hey, why don't we, uh, uh we, we would like to, you know, acquire this, uh, this IP so we could for, for licensing for, for games and everything. Uh, and, um, and they offered him money. And so he took the money. And now he wants, he's trying to uh, sue them or he's demanding payment uh, in the amount of $16 million. And listen, it's shitty, right? It's like he took, he took the deal. He took the deal and that was it. The game is massively popular, massively popular. Uh, and, but he took the deal. He's, a, he's, he's apparently seeking additional royalties on top of the deal he already accepted. And his, 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 his own words. I was stupid enough to leave and to leave everything in their hands because I didn't believe in their success. But who could foresee their success? I couldn't. I didn't believe in their success. I didn't believe in their success. Okay. I was stupid. I was stupid. He answered his own question. He did. He was stupid. This is one of those things you basically have to just chalk up to being, well, I made I made a dumb I made a dumb mistake. And maybe I should take this creativity that I've put into making this amazing series and uh make something new or continue like, you know, doing whatever else I had I can do with the IP. Um there's some Polish law that allows artists to receive a bigger payment or something like that. Oh, well, if that's the case, then great. But I haven't read anything about that in any of the follow-up. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how this thing progresses. But um, do you want the info from the Polish law about this? Hell no. I got a narrative to push, bitch. Get out of my face. My new show. Fuck this guy. I was stupid. All right? Stop ruining it. <laughs> but no, if there is, if there is 
uh, something about uh, law specific to that, uh, you know, local to that to that country, uh, to, to Poland, where they are able to basically ask for more money, then, uh, then great. But we'll see. The dude, the, he was right, though. He was right. Okay? Okay? Alright. So, uh, I will look into follow-ups on that, though. And we'll see what, uh, what ends up happening with them, uh, uh, with this whole thing in the future. But I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, if the artist has got an unequal amount of money, uh, for something, they license or something, they can get money for something. There's so many somethings in that sentence, I can't take it as, I can't take it as gospel. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to basically just look into it and just see. We're not going to do all the research here on the show. Oh, maybe a little bit. Let's see. Polish law basically says, okay, basically, you include the word basically. So we can't use it. You see, this is how it works. We can't. This is something that's going to have to basically wait. Uh, until actual people who know the law uh, and who enforce the law and who fight the law uh, actually follow up with this. But I will follow up with this if it comes out that he um, he really is entitled to it. Because that would be that would be a pretty interesting turn of events. Pretty interesting turn of events. Uh, if you give me a link to something that's not an official release, then please don't. Serious. If you have something that's official, dump it right now. But if it's like, if it's like Kotaku or something, don't even. <laughs> or like a comment on on, uh, on The Verge or some shit, don't even. He said it's Polish law. Polish law. Ira, this is the guy who likes to uh, squeeze these nuts or whatever from under and all these other dragon nuts and all this shit into every other th sentence that he says. He says that he is keen on Polish law. And, uh, and he's going to, uh, he's gonna show us what's up. I'm getting ready for I'm getting ready to hit that 24-hour ban, Ira. Let's go. <laughs> Poly to polish these nuts. <laughs> All right, in a trade. Oh, man, we don't have time for this. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. We will come back if we have, uh, uh if you have something there for me. So, so, moving on. We've had a couple of live-action movie announcements, guys. Did you guys know this? Did you guys know this? Did you guys know this? First, first, gotta know which one is first. Hold on, no, here we go. First, first, there is the, there is the Mega Man live action. Mega Man live action movie is being slated, created by uh, folks that created uh, uh, Planet of the Apes, which is actually listening here somewhere. Um, actually, it does not look like it is, apes. It is not, actually. Did I get confused this with the other game that's uh, coming out? No, I'm pretty sure these guys did have something to do with Planet of the Apes. Uh, I see, known for movies like Nerve and Paranormal Activity 3. Not even the first one. Yeah, it's, it's, I was real, I was honestly really disappointed to read this. This was, this really hurt my feelings. Like, because Mega Man is, it's like, it's supposed to be like, like a boy or a teen or a young man or something and so it's like and and also not realistic looking at all it just doesn't sound good at all now if it was like uh the akira movie right um if it was like the akira movie and it was like oh yeah the guys make akira um the the movie out the live action adaptation sorry um then that might be you know what maybe because the stuff they did in that movie really looked good like visually it looked good uh, I'm not I'm not speaking about the quality of the movie, the live action adaptation of Akira, but um but yeah, <laughs> the RoboCop ripoff, that would be that would be pretty uh pretty gruesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't see this being anything other than just shit. Um just I I can't I can't see this working out at all. Not live action. Like if it was like a CG animator or something like that, like maybe, but even then, even then it's it's tough. It's 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 pretty hard. I think they're trying to put they're trying to just basically push more um uh more uh, merchandising and, and all that shit. Because if you think about it, Mega Man is like a perfect that is a perfect uh uh IP for generating just like tons of merchandise. Tons of merchandise. Every single robot boss could have its own plush. 
right? And then, I mean, imagine it's like like the Beanie Babies before Dr. Wily's evil robots. This is like, this could be a thing that I would absolutely collect. <laughs> like, kids love this shit. I'd say kids because I just literally just said I would do it too. Uh, kids love these things where it's like, hey, here's here's a cool thing. Oh, look, there's like hundreds of things for me to explore here. Look at Pokemon. You know, like that's, there's another fantastic example and, and all the different types of Pokemon style games. Um, it's a collect, it's a collectathon, it's a collect them all, whatever. Uh, it's just one of those things that, uh, that Mega Man would absolutely work well with. I don't feel like a live action would work, man. It just, it just feel like it would be weird. Um, it feels like it would be weird. Uh, and the other, I see, I see that era. Let me actually open that up. Let me actually talk about the next live action here so we don't have a break in this. Uh, the next live action that we have is, oops, did that drop in the right spot? Looks like it did not, actually. Hold on. Whoops. Bam. There we go. All right. I was like worried. It's like, what's popping up here? Um, the next one is, son of a bitch. <laughs> There's, we're going to get to that in a second. We're still working out the flow of this thing, okay? All right. Production value. Shush. Shush, shush, shush. Listen, man. It's a bunch of, it's news, okay? It's news. We're talking about it here. Uh... Don't worry about what's going on on that screen. Uh, over there. Monster Hunter also getting a live action adaptation. Um, now, I don't know much about Monster Hunter, but I feel like it might be better than Mega Man. Like it might just do better than Mega Man, perhaps? Uh, mainly because I don't feel, because because I know that there's not an, there's not as big an audience that is aware and has in, in their own head uh, a vision of who Mega Man is and all that, because like Monster Hunter, it's not like there's not like 40 million people in the world or 50 million people in the world or 100 million people in the world that have an iconic view of what that show represents. So they could almost do like whatever with that <laughs> with, with 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 Monster Hunter movie, right? And just basically bring his like big ass crazy monsters to fight. And that's pretty much it. It'll be like, it'll be like Godzilla. <laughs> but with, you know, Monster Hunter characters. Um, Blaze your bets on what armor. Yeah, yeah, Mia uh, Jovovich is definitely going to be in this. For sure. Um, no, wait, hold on. No, that, that's just, that's just, that's just a made up part. Uh, right? I, I didn't say anything about anybody being casted in this. This is, uh, this is, that's just a joke because she's in like all these movies. Um, did you, uh, did you know that the author, Brandon, says he might be. Oh, hold on. No, hold on. What? Okay, that's that's something for another time, Aladdin. That's something I didn't hear, I haven't heard about. Um, but she was in all the yeah, she's all the Resident Evil movies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, anyways, Mia, Mia aside, um, Monster Hunter movie. There's nothing else really. Live action. There you go. Now, going back to the Polish copyright here, Article Forty Four. Right, I believe that's what you said. Uh, in the event of a gross discrepancy between remuneration, re rem remuneration. Uh, of the offer and the benefits of the acquirer of author's economic rights or the licensee, the author may request that the court should duly increase his, oh well, wow, well, his earnings. Um, so this is the official law. I'm glad you brought this up because it does not say what that number is. Um, it says a gross discrepancy. What constitutes a gross discrepancy? Uh, in, uh, weird. In, um, in Polish copyright law. What they're going to do with this, if this is the article they're going to bring up is they're going to, they're going to basically, and this is super small, I apologize. Um, what they're going to do is they're going to look at previous cases where they've had this come up and they're going to see what the, what the judgment was and what the, and I'm basing this off of like us law and court system. Uh, they're going to look at previous laws and there are previous cases. They're going to say, yeah, well, in this case, this judge said that, um, this amount, this amount was uh, uh, was quantifiable as uh, quantifiably a gross discrepancy. So we we'll have to just wait and see what that is. Uh, the law PDF is in Discord. Yeah, that's great. Anybody wants to go in Discord and find that? That's in there. But this pretty much this pretty much does it for me. <laughs> the lawyers of the offer or author are claiming he only licensed away for the first game. Well, that's something that uh, we'll have to just wait and see. Um, because that was not that was not mentioned in that and well unless it was edited in uh but yeah so we're gonna move on from this story because clearly it is developing more on that 
later. So, some of you guys might not like that, and that's fine. Uh, let's see. Nintendo. What is Nintendo up to? Have you guys bought a Switch recently? Because Nintendo says that uh, there's a there's a report that Nintendo is gonna have a new Switch, Switch 2.0. <laughs> No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. A live action adaptation of the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Just gotta keep with the flow. Uh, yeah. They're gonna come out with a new one. Um, there are no details on what, what is, what it's going to be. One says one option, this is all like, one option would be install a better display, making it brighter. I mean, these are all just basically people just, you know, fantasizing what they want the next one to be. Uh, but just remember, what we consider to be a typical evolution of hardware, right? An expected evolution of hardware. Nintendo doesn't, they don't subscribe to those ideals. They kind of live in a bubble. They kind of have their own world out there. And so when we say, yeah, we're definitely gonna have a better screen and better battery life. And I don't know, whatever else we think is gonna be cool. Uh, let's see, brighter, more efficient battery. Yeah, like we think that stuff is cool. And that's the stuff that we'd expect from a newer device, mobile device. Doesn't necessarily mean that's what Nintendo thinks. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Don't forget, like, the DS Lite. The DS Lite was uh, um, technically a downgrade, I think, in, in, in some cases. But uh, it was a new system, but it was just, you know, it was just a, uh, it was a lighter version or whatever. Uh, but it was cheaper. It was, it was cheaper. God, it's been so long. Uh, it was like cheaper and it was a, it was a hardware downgrade. Thank you, Inferno. Yeah, it was a hardware downgrade. So we might actually see, what we might see here is actually, a, a smaller switch. Like it's possible. We might see a switch that's just basically thinner or lighter or something. And, but it has to sacrifice something which might actually be, you know, quality, <laughs> you know, power, raw power. Um, I mean, we'll see what, what the actual hardware is going to be, uh, uh, if the hardware is going to be better. But, yeah, I'm not bummed about this. Like, I, I don't, I, I mean, I have a Switch. I didn't just buy one. So if you just bought one, then I'm sorry. But uh, it's still going to be good. You know, it's it's not, this is not going to be a, like, uh, it's not going to be a Wii to a Wii U. Right? It's not going to be a Wii to a Wii U. It fucking better not be a Wii to a Wii U. Uh, the Switch is so wildly popular. If Nintendo... And this is why I think they might do it. If Nintendo went and made a new console, like they did the Wii to the Wii U, then they are stupid. Which means they might just do it. It is very possible they might do that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and the track, yeah, Nintendo's track record isn't good. They just, they just see things differently. They just see, they see a whole my beer. Yeah, they do, they do. They, they see things. Differently than than those of us who have who feel like we kind of know better do. They occasionally hit home runs. The switch is a home run. There's no doubt. The switch is a, is is a is a home run. The Wii U, not really a home run. The Wii home run. <laughs> They're not always right. They're not always right. Uh, the Switch U. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. We'll 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 obviously see what happens. They. This is not the only thing that they've been doing though. This is not the only thing they've been doing. Um, they actually have something else they've been working on. Well, not working on. Somebody basically dug through some patents. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Somebody dug through some patents. And I clicked on the actual patent. Oh, here we go. Cool. Somebody uh, dug through some patents and found this. This is a patent from the United States Patent Office. Trademark Office. It's from Nintendo. This is a phone case. That Nintendo, Nintendo filed a patent for a phone case that has basically a functioning Game Boy Classic in it. This could be the new Switch. <laughs> the Advanced Switch U2 DS Lights. You, you gotta add the U at the end. This is actually like, I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would even, isn't that a thing already? So, so here's, so yeah, so we're gonna, let's, let's talk about that now. This doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to um, make a Game Boy for 
a Game Boy cover for phones, it doesn't mean that. It could mean, or it doesn't necessarily mean that, it could mean that they are filing for this so that all these other companies that make these like Game Boy ripoffs, and you know, that way you could, that you could play as a phone case, because they do exist, they might be filing this just so that way they could take those things down and maintain control over that. Because Nintendo, Nintendo has been known to do that kind of stuff to get, to get, you know, a little over defensive about things and reach right in and like take, take, you know, videos down and take ad revenue away from people and do all that stuff. They've been known to do this. So this is very possible as, as interesting as it might be just to own one, right? If anything, just to make your phone not so skinny that it's like, it feels like it's going to slide out your phone out of pocket all the time just to fatten it up a little bit. Um, you know, I don't think, I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're necessarily going to do that. It looks like a real, it looks like a real patent though. It's got lots of detail. Look at all the diagrams. Like it's got lots of stuff here, but, um, yeah, we just don't know what it means, what it really means. Somebody could, they could just start attacking people and be like, Hey, it was not just filed. It was, uh, it was, uh, oh, sorry. It wasn't just filed. It was, uh, sent out, uh, March or March. It was filed. March. It was filed. This is, this is an actual patent number here so they have the actual patent number uh i don't necessarily know if that means yeah they have the patent but i, I feel like if they're gonna sign a patent number then maybe that's what it means um because i've never actually patented anything myself uh but it says uh it says right here they've patented a uh, game boy style phone case it looks like it let a smartphone owners transform their handset into a classic handheld so um i wonder what that means like if they actually went through with this if they actually went through with this what would it mean? Would they like, would they, I had those muted. <laughs> Apparently not. D-Claw, hey, thanks so much, man, for 10 months. <laughs> I thought I could slide through. <laughs> Thank you, man, I appreciate it. Um, the just stupid mute button doesn't work. Um, but yeah, so I, I wonder how that would actually end up functioning. Would they like actually put the, uh, like a cart, like of the cartridge? They wouldn't do that. That doesn't make any sense. My phone does more than a Switch does. <laughs> I mean, uh, besides the games, um, yeah, normal emulators work. I mean, I mean, I have a Game Boy emulator on my on my. I have like my old iPhone 4s or something or 5s that I just keep around. Like I use it as an iPod, um, and that that has uh, uh, emulators on it. So, so we'll see. Mike's a hacker. No, no, dude. The the emulator actually came. It was actually somebody slid it into another app. It was it was like a file manager app or something for iOS, which is stupid because you can't really manage your files on iOS anyways. And so I downloaded it uh, because somebody said that if you go in and you push like a certain like if you like push on, on a certain area or whatever like a blank area, it loads an actual emulator. And so it actually plays like and you could you could plug it into your uh, into your uh, your PC and move uh, 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 ROMs over. And then, you know, do all that. So, so yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like this, this, I don't think this is going to be a thing. I think the odds are it's, it's just basically Game Boy just posturing. So that way, if, uh, if anybody comes out with something like this, uh, they can, uh, they can basically take it down and that's pretty much it. So yeah, they're, they're horribly hostile towards, uh, emulators. Um, except, yeah, except then they do it. Well, of course, that's why they do it. <laughs> that's why, that's why they want to maintain control over those things so they could, uh, make money off of it. Um, so yeah, that's. That's Nintendo's news, I think. I think that's all we got for Nintendo news. There's some Telltale updates. It's not emulated if they do it. That's right. It's true. It's true. Um, so this is the headline you guys probably saw, and I want to make it clear it's not entirely true. Uh, the report is Telltale Games lays off remaining skeleton crew. Uh, it is that it's not true. This came out yesterday. Uh, it was based off of a tweet from somebody who worked there, uh, who her team was laid off recently. Uh, and actually even says right here, says, hey, remember how there were, uh, how there was going to be a skeleton crew staying off for a while and I was part of it? Nah, JK, we all just got laid off too. And then later she follows up and she says, I think there was a misunderstanding or about my earlier message. There are still good people at the company. My team is done. So, uh, so not everybody is gone. Whoa. Uh, not everybody is gone. Um, but that person's team is gone, but that story took off and obviously it was everywhere. Telltale Games lays off remaining skeleton crew. Um, now given that they only have like 25 people there, I almost feel like it's, it, it's, it's, it's just, okay. So they laid off more people. Like they laid off 250 people. If they lay off five more, is that really going to matter? 
I mean, five people are going to be there at the end anyways. It's going to be like HR, legal, and uh, whoever's going to close the books, basically. <laughs> that, that's like all that's going to end the janitors. Like, that's all that's going to be left at the, on the last day. Uh, so, yeah, it makes sense. It's going to be like paring down uh, staffing and everything. But, uh, but yeah, we are slowly letting go of more people. This is not surprising. Pretty soon, they'll have no people. Uh, and then, then that'll be another headline all uh, of its own. But, but, Telltale is looking to see if they can find other devs to finish, finish their games. This is, this is, this is actually a legit headline. <laughs> this headline is accurate. Telltale Games shared an update shortly after laying out the vast majority of its staff, 250 plus developers, saying that it is still looking for potential ways to bring the last few unfinished episodes of Walking Dead to completion. And Kotaku now has details on their uh, blah, 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 blah. So, according to the sources speaking to Kotaku, uh, remaining the remnants of Telltale Games leadership are trying to set up a deal that would give an external company the ability to finish the last two episodes of The Walking Dead, the final season, and hire former Telltale Games employees to do so. So, that is, uh, I don't know if any of you guys, do any of you guys play? Are you guys, any of you guys like looking forward to uh, The Walking Dead, the final season? Like, have you guys, like, caught up on all that and, like, waiting for the next... Whether or not you play them yourself or watch somebody else play it. Nope. Nope. Nah. I stopped at the end of the second season. Yes, we got a yes! We got a yes! Nah, nope. Meh. Nope. Nope. Gearbox. Alright. So we got a yes, lots of no's, and a gearbox. So... <laughs> so good. Good. All right. Well, that's the end of that story. <laughs> we don't give a shit about that. Uh, let's see. This one, this is actually kind of interesting, I think. I'm going to play I'm going to play a video for y'all. All right. Hi, right, there, please. Yeah, my name's uh, Flaming Bond and I have five hostages in my house at the moment. I have five grand and I'm going to kill them all. Swatting is real. Yes. Sounds, sounds more and more like swatting to me. It is a crime that puts people at risk. The music really helps here. No, the music I added on accident. That was my fault. Sorry. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Seattle police launch opt-in registry system to help prevent swatting. Uh, this is a big deal because unfortunately swatting is a real thing. Uh, and so kudos to Seattle for, uh, developing this kind of registry. Because before they would tell us, uh, they would tell, I say us, like the streamers, they basically tell streamers like, Hey, um, like, just call your local police force and just hope that Greg is on duty when somebody calls and swats. He's like, oh, Greg's. Oh, yeah, that dude called in. Uh, yeah, he's chill. Don't worry about it. You know, if Greg's off duty, you might get shot and killed. Hey, this is guns. You're right. Absolutely guns. This is a much, much needed uh, first step. And this little anti-swatting PSA, like this is perfect because it's real. Like it's, it's a real thing. We've already had uh, somebody, not the person that was the target, you know, but um, we did have somebody that was killed in a in a in a swatting call, and so these kind these things are unfortunately necessary. Um, I, I mean, you could think of ways to abuse it. I guess somebody could. It's like, yeah, oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna register this this house that I'm gonna hold hostage next week. I'm gonna register it on this and and no swatting uh, the list or whatever on the SWAT list. <laughs> and then I'm going to go and I'm going to hold him hostage for reals. That would make no sense. Why would you even do that? Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it is a, it is a fantastic first step, I think. And, uh, uh Inferno says, yeah, my area has a registry for that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure these things probably, they're probably starting to pop up, uh, all over. I'm, I'm willing to bet anywhere that's, that's been in the news for, uh, for spotting has probably, has probably, uh, uh, been uh, picked up. Or pick this thing up because they probably needed a solution. So that way, 
that doesn't happen again because they don't want to spend the resources on this stuff. They don't, it's not like they're happy about it. They're not like, they don't get there after a swatting call and they're like, oh, it's just a prank. Oh man. Oh, you got us. Oh shit. Oh man. I almost killed you right there. Like, that's the thing. Like they just, <laughs> they, they just, it's, it's just something that needs to happen. So good. Good for Seattle police. Uh, fishy tricks. I have a uh, alerts turned off, but thank you so much for the one year, dude. Hey, Hey, thank you. Um, how do you find, how do you people find, how do people find the address? Uh, the address, oh, well, that's, there's a lot of ways to do that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways to do it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that people just, you know, once, once somebody gets big enough, you know, you always have that, like, you always have that percentage of folks that, uh, that, you know, are fans that are, um, extra dedicated extra dedicated uh and you might get lucky and a percentage of them would also be smart smart enough to uh what is that thing what you the days to say just just smart enough to get in trouble or whatever like yeah dedicated smart fans you get that like terrible overlap <laughs> and then like you add in like mental instability on top of it like that's this, this happens basically um I don't know if you guys have ever watched, and I understand if you haven't, but if you, I don't know if you guys have ever watched a Ice Poseidon stream. Um, I don't worry. You don't have to. You don't have to go out. I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it. I've only watched. I've, I've, I don't watch it like actively, but my friend watches it a lot, so I end up having to watch it. Uh, but um, that guy can't go anywhere. He cannot go anywhere. If he announces where he's gonna go, his fans will call like if he's like hey i'm gonna go to santa cruz which he wouldn't because he live here but i'm gonna go to santa cruz i'm gonna go to the boardwalk his fan his fans his dedicated smart fans will call everybody every business in that area and let them know that he's coming and say like weird shit like he can't go anywhere like there was actually a, a there's actually a, a thing that happened recently it was actually a uh, a friend a friend of my wife uh who was actually on on Ice's show on accident because they went to uh to uh to her place of her, her place of business uh, to they were going to just like show up there and do a thing and she and she was like oh no and she basically turned them away why because they were called ahead like somebody called ahead and, and got a hold of them and was like hey this person's coming they're filming and doing all this stuff and I don't know I have no idea what they said but basically you know turn them away uh, at the door didn't even get in it's, um, it's crazy. Yeah. So this is, this is like next level that like you have people that will do that thinking that they're funny, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ruin the show. Ha ha. This is so funny. Uh, basically stream sniping. Uh, and then you're going to have somebody who's going to do something like really like actually fucked up. Um, I've, I've said it before. I've said it before when, uh, when this stuff first started happening with IRL that somebody is literally going to die on stream. Like it sucks. No one wants to talk about it. I understand because no one wants to hear that shit. But somebody is going to die on stream. It is going to happen. Um, it's just a matter of time. It's content. <laughs> it's content, homie. <laughs> That's my best ice ice Poseidon laugh uh, thing. Um, but uh, so somebody somebody has uh, committed suicide. Uh, there, so first off, I'm talking about an IRL stream. There is somebody that that a stroke uh, or a heart attack. Uh, there was somebody that, um, I think in China, there was some guy who like, who, who died. I didn't really know the details of that. Uh, and then there was, uh, somebody who actually committed suicide off camera at an Ice Poseidon, uh, 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 stream. And that was something that I feel like was probably real based off the videos that I saw. But at the same time, it's hard to tell with Ice because he stages a lot of stuff, uh, for content. He has to stage stuff because every time he tries to do real stuff, somebody calls ahead and ruins it. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to, with the cameras all over the place and every film IRL, it's going to happen. Um, it's totally gonna happen and it sucks. Um, and so I don't, I mean, what's gonna happen then? Like, you know, what do we, what do we do? <laughs> like, what do we, what do we do? Does everybody just all of a sudden just stop streaming or do they just say, well, just add that to the list of hazards in my hazardous job. It pretty much already happened during the, the man term in Jacksonville. That's uh, so I don't want to, I don't want to like just, you know, dismiss that or, 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 or I'm not, that was obviously a tragedy, right? But I'm talking more like an actual IRL, like an actual IRL feed. I don't mean like an actual real life camera feed. I mean like IRL category, 
style of streaming. Somebody walking around with a camera filming. Hey, we're going to go do this today. We're going to do that today. That's what I mean. Those guys, uh, where it's one person that is basically in charge of it and they're, uh, dedicated, smart fans are, uh, are out to get them. It'll happen. Andy Milanakis, Andy Milanakis, I didn't mention this before. He's quick, man. He's like, I don't, this is smart. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I mean, you, his content may be questionable, uh, but his, um, but he know he recognizes when shit's coming down the pipe, like way ahead of time. The guy, he, He's like uh, he's like Nicolas Cage in Next, where he could like see two minutes in the future, but he could see like two seconds into the future, like not really enough to really like help you at all, but just enough where he knows if someone's gonna come on camera and flash, like that dude, he's on it. Like there's been so many times when like he's out there, like this is, he's out somewhere, I have no idea where, and there's a bunch of bars and pubs around or whatever, and like just talking to these ladies, and they're like, oh, we're on camera, boom, and he sees that shit coming, he's like <laughs> turning the camera like that, <laughs> like the. Six million dollar man sound, not the Jason sound. Um, just enough. Yeah. He's a grown man, so he has some life experience. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. No, he's he's but I'm saying like he's quick. Like he's he's seen he's seen some shit clearly. He knows when it's coming. <laughs> like he probably knows he probably profiles people. It's like that young lady's gonna show me her titties. I'm not gonna talk to him. That guy is gonna beat me up. I am not gonna talk to him. <laughs> like just just I don't know. It's gonna, uh but yeah. Um so that's almost all the news. The last piece of news that I have is actually kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Uh, I, didn't, I, I don't know if this has actually been talked about uh, anywhere in, in more depth because I feel like people may have just dismissed it because of what it's based off of. But I was it was super late at night and the reviews for uh, for Venom started coming in. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the movie Venom. That's a really dumb thing to say. Uh, <laughs> Venom is a movie. It stars Tom Hardy as Venom. Venom is based off of a character in the Marvel comic universe. I have heard that the movie is not good. I've also heard that the movie is better than what people think or better people expect. Um, I also heard that there's 40 minutes of, of footage that have been cut. Or something. Um, that was from Tom Hardy's mouth, actually. I guess 40 minutes, I guess, have been cut. Uh, but online, just what uh, Saboteur says, um, we started getting these reviews. It said, very disappointed with the way the new Venom movie turned out. Probably the worst Mar Marvel movie ever. I do not recommend. Together with my Christian wife, I decided to watch A Star is Born, and we were very surprised at how amazing that movie was. We rebuke Satan in this family. Just got back from Venom screening, and many people walked out during the first 30 minutes of the film. I stayed... But that's two hours of my life I'll never get back. Absolutely awful and complete waste of resources. Take your money elsewhere this weekend. This actually could be a real review, actually. Just finished watching Venom. Sucks, right? This video was deleted, obviously. <laughs> wow, just saw Venom and I really regret it. it. I recommend cancel your tickets. Save your money for A Star is Born instead. Very disappointed with the way the new movie turned out. The new Venom movie turned out. Probably the worst Marvel movie ever. I do not recommend together... With my Christian... Wait, is this the same? Is this the same tweet? Is the other one? Oh, it is. Sexy and thick in the corner. Oh, that's pretty funny. Venom. A star is born. 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 Do I have more? Uh, I do. Venom. A star is born. Venom. A star is born. Venom. And I have to say, I'm greatly disappointed with all the Hitler and slavery references. I've never had seen such a homophobic and sexist movie, and I can't believe Trump made a cameo. Anyways, I'm going to go see A Star is Born to help me forget it. Venom was set in the liberal city of San Francisco, very vile and politically motivated. A Star is Born is set in good old middle America about country artists. That Lady Gaga, country singer extraordinaire. I am the biggest Marvel fan. I want to say Venom, blah, blah, blah. Disappointed. Um, so, obviously some of you guys have opinions on the movie. Most of you haven't seen it. <laughs> this is, this is the strangest case of Gaga's monsters. Yes, her little monsters, uh, trolling every, I mean, this was, this is just a sample. This is just a sample of what I could find. Um... She's a belie believer first and feminist second. That's priorities, lady. Um, 
Yeah. I just thought this was the most hilarious, like, review bombing I've ever seen. I, I, and maybe I just, maybe I just haven't seen it elsewhere, but seriously, every other, this is me just going down and just next, next tweet, next tweet, next tweet, next tweet. That's why one of them was like deleted because apparently that person like deleted or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, there was, there were no movies. There was no tweets that said a star is born sucks. I'm going to go see Venom. That's, that's the thing. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's like, it's, it can go both ways, but I, I there was no, I mean, maybe there's a tweet out there. Sure. But not like this, <laughs> not like this. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if Venom, if, if you guys don't like Venom, that's great. Uh, I mean, we could have told you that when the trailer came out. So if you went and saw it, that's your bad. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> this was definitely, uh, this was definitely a, an interesting case of like social media, basically, you know, uh, mobilizing against, uh, against the film, you know, are they real people tweeting or bots? Uh, I went through a couple of them and they are real people. I didn't want to do that on stream because I don't know what those people are posting. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, some of them are like, are just like fan accounts where they just, just basically retweet nothing but Lady Gaga stuff. I mean, like this one right here, A Star is Born. You crack, crack dash and all. Um, this person's got Lady Gaga on her, on her cover, but, uh, I bet you they paid real people. I mean, the thing is, it could be, yeah, this is a fake news. Seriously. No, this is, this is a, this is a case of the fake news. Um, but it's, it's, I just think it's an interesting look at just how these little monsters or whatever have mobilized against a movie that they probably didn't give a shit about. What, what were they seriously thinking they were going to do with this? What were they going to do? Were they really going to, were they thinking, oh man, we're going to take all those people who are going to go see Venom and they're going to go see this Lady Gaga flick. What? What the fuck? No. I mean, Lady Gaga is an amazing singer. Okay. I, I'm, and I heard she's a great actor too. That's awesome. But I don't feel like they're the Venn diagram of people who are like, fuck yeah, Venom are going to be like, fuck yeah, Lady Gaga. There's not going to be a huge overlap there. <laughs> There's just not. So yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> well, <sighs> yeah, it is, it is one more reason to not take social media seriously. Yes. Uh, and also again, just an interesting case, Lady Gaga as Venom. Oh, Maybe, maybe. Um, Tom Hardy and Lady Gaga. There we go. Let's get them together. Or you can see both. That's true. Or you can see both. I actually do want to see Venom. Hive mind sucks. They will ruin what they touch, the stuff they love. Dude, it's everywhere. Hi the hive mind uh, mindset. The, uh, I mean, this is just an example of just, just people like, hey, just talk shit about this one movie and then... Uh, and promote this other movie. Like, that's all this was, but this happens all the time elsewhere. I just, I was just surprised I caught it. Usually it gets buried in shit. Uh, but yeah. Oh, Ken's gonna go see it tonight. Let, yeah, let us know what you think. I trust your opinion. I don't trust guns. <laughs> Gun said Destiny 2 was good. <laughs> but yeah, so, sorry, guns. <laughs> wow! I could hear it. I could hear that. I could hear that wow in my head right now. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna go i'm gonna go see dead deadpool 2 for the fifth time i have not seen deadpool pool deadpool 2 once i really need to i feel so bad i feel so bad. but I'm, I'm my dad i have kids i can't i can't what am i supposed to go to the movies i got a movie pass i've been paying for for like three months i have not seen one fucking movie damn i need to do that maybe i'll go see uh, a star is born instead of venom because of that that uh horribly sexist and slavery references and the racism and Hitler made an appearance uh, in it too, like as a cameo they, for that. And with my Christian family, yeah, that's right, that's right. Me and my my Christian family, we're gonna go see uh, a Star Is Born first before we go see Venom. Ugh. All right, well, uh, guns, I love you. You know I do. Uh, that is. Oh yeah, I forgot to rebuke Satan. Yes, I forgot. Oh God, did I get it? Did I get it in, in time? Did I slide it in before the the buzzer? Um, all right. Well, that's the, um, that's the news. That's the news for the day. I got six minutes. I got six minutes. We're done with news. YouTube is done with news. All right. You, you, YouTube and their Christian values. Done with news. Thank you for watching. If you want to see this live, twitch.tv slash AK Mike B like these folks. If you want to just follow me, twitter.com slash AK Mike B or just continue following on YouTube or Twitch. That works too. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs> Bye. Do 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 do.
I edit the music in later. Do 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 do